President Dwight D. Eisenhower, one of America's most admired leaders, considered one of our most admired presidents of all time. He was the supreme Allied commander. He led the victorious D-Day invasion, the largest military operation in the history of warfare. As president, he ended the Korean War. He stabilized the Soviet-American rivalry. He established the interstate highway system. He created NASA. He signed the first civil rights bill into law. He was the steward of peace and prosperity. These achievements led Congress to authorize a national memorial to President Eisenhower in 1999. It will rise alongside the National Mall in Washington, D.C., next to the existing memorials of Washington, Lincoln, and Jefferson. After more than a decade of planning, the design put forward has become too controversial to build. It will cost twice what was initially proposed. Its materials are not permanent or durable, as required by federal law. It's time to start over. The current design removes part of a major avenue to create a four-acre outdoor room. Enormous metal screens, referred to as tapestries, will dominate the space. They will be 80 feet high, as tall as the surrounding buildings. Giant images of the Kansas landscape will be made out of steel cables. Preliminary testing has shown the welding needed to hold the steel cables in place can fray and discolor over time. This makes them less likely to endure. Testing has also shown the screens will trap debris. Current maintenance plans call for only a single pressure washing each year. This is not sufficient. Testifying before a congressional hearing, the National Monuments Foundation was asked to advise on the extraordinary cost of the design. We are headquartered in the Millennium Gate Georgia History Museum. This $21 million ensemble is set in a four-acre lakeside park. You may have six Millennium Gates for the cost of one Gary Memorial on similar size sites. Typical presidential memorials cost approximately $50 million in today's dollars. The proposed Eisenhower Memorial is nearly three times more than that, at an estimated $142 million. The bottom line is this. The current design is too controversial, too problematic, too expensive to become the unifying national symbol we all want. We don't even know if it will be permanent. The Eisenhower Memorial should be redesigned. Veterans, historians, architects, authors, and members of Congress agree. They are calling for a public competition to redesign the Eisenhower Memorial, one that will control costs and ensure that it is permanent. Robert Campbell, architecture critic, said someone should scrub the design and start over. Bruce Cole, former chairman of the National Endowment for the Humanities, said the whole project could start over. We need very sincerely a new set of eyes to look at the situation. Representative Rob Bishop, it is clear that what we have to do is steer this memorial back in the right direction. Representative Darrell Issa, even the Eisenhower family agrees. John Eisenhower said, we as a family cannot support the Eisenhower Memorial as currently designed, in concept, scope, or scale. We request that lawmakers withhold funding the project in its current form and stand back from approving the current design. Do right by Ike. It's time to start over.